The Welsh are here tonight at the Royal Albert Hall. Many hundreds, perhaps even thousands of Welshmen are here tonight to cheer and sing Howard Winston, if they can, to the World Featherweight Championship. The title that he has already made three attempts to win, and each time he's been unsuccessful. Unsuccessful against Vicente Saldivar of Mexico. But now the title is vacant. And Winston tonight, at 28, faces... Mitsunori Seki of Japan, the Southpaw featherweight champion of the Orient, who is 26 years old. And so these two now prepare to fight for the title vacated by the Mexican Vicente Saldiva, who is sitting at the ringside watching these two men battle for the title that he gave up after he beat Winston last October. So Howard Winston amid scenes that haven't been heard at the Royal Albert Hall for years. These thousands of Welshmen cheering him on, making now his fourth attempt to win this world title against the Southpaw Japanese, Mitsunori Seki. Seki, a Southpaw like Saldivar was. Seki is about two inches taller than Winston. He's five foot seven. Seki is fast on his feet and he's got fast hands. We've seen that in the gym. And we assume that he can also punch because he put Saldivar on the floor in their first fight. Winston is going to need all his old boxing skill to contain this man. And Seki, the Japanese, is setting a fast pace from the start and he's taking the initiative and carrying the fight to Winston. We shall watch very carefully the eyes of Seki because this man has suffered from cuts many times in fights and he carries the scars and the scar tissue around his eyes. And in those eyes of Seki may well lie the best chance for Howard Winston. Seki in this first round has used his feet well to try to avoid the left hand of Howard Winston. And the Japanese has set a hot pace in this first round. Winston has not got his left hand going too well in this opening round. He hasn't had much chance to settle down and use it. He's been harried and hustled by Seki. Well, this will be a night for Wales if Winston were to win this, such as they haven't seen for 45 years, because it is 45 years since Wales had a world champion. The last one was Jimmy Wilde who reigned as flyweight champion of the world from 1916 to 1923. 28-year-old Howard Winston, having his 65th fight tonight, has had 59 wins and five defeats. Three of those defeats have been against the ex-champion Vicente Saldiva. Seki is 26. Taller and more experienced than Winston, he's had 72 fights. He's won 61, he's drawn one and lost 10. He's been stopped only three times but those three occasions always from very good men.
Sellers in the first round. Winston's left hand. Whenever he tries to use it, so Seki uses his feet. He moves away from it, and then he counters hard. And he's giving Winston plenty of trouble in these first two rounds. Referee refereeing his first world title fight. Winston looks calm and he looks confident. But this is a great night for him because this is probably the last chance he'll ever have of winning the world title. He is tall and he's got long arms and he's busy all the time. But this has been a better run for Winston, the second one. He's settled down more and he's begun to cover up against a lot of the punches from Seki. Two good short clips from Seki inside. as we come towards the end of the second round. There isn't very much between these two. There's no indication yet as to which way this fight is going to swing. This is Seki's fifth world title fight tonight. He fought for the World Flyweight Championship as far back as 1961 against Pony King Petch, and he's had three other attempts at the featherweight title once against Sugar Ramos and twice against Saldivar and he's lost the lot these two look closely matched at the moment the tall Japanese in the white shorts, Mitsunori Seki, 26. And the little Welsh wizard, Winston, 28. Winston's left eyebrow looking just a little red. Winston using his right hand as much as he's using his left in this fight to overcome the southpaw stance of the Japanese. And Seki now beginning to look a little bit hustled and worried about these right hands coming across. And I think Seki may be cut in this round. I think he may be cut on the right eye. There's a suspicion of blood there. I don't think Seki is cut, but he looks suspiciously red around the eye for a moment. And it's Winston, in fact, who's cut. It's Winston's left eye that is bleeding. There was a little blood around, and I couldn't see where it came from, but now it's very plain, and it's the Welshman who's cut on the left eyebrow. And this is a bad setback for Winston, because if anybody was going to get cut early on, we thought it would be the Japanese. And 
so Winston at the end of the third must go back for repairs to the left eye it's not too serious but it's over the eye and that's not a good place for a cut to be and Eddie Thomas his manager now goes to work and there must be some consternation now in that Welsh corner because this is not the way things were expected to go Winston now will need all his boxing skill. He must keep from further trouble, and at the same time he must keep up the points piling up against Seki. A double task for him now. Winston quite definitely is slower than he was in the first two fights against Saldiva. It's a nice right hand from Winston, high up on the head. The eyes started to bleed a little. towards the end of the fourth so Seki looks immensely strong the shoulders look powerful and he's putting in a lot of work and I think he must now be ahead this man has been a professional fighter for 10 years ever since he was 16 years old He's got an astonishing record. This is his 18th championship fight. He's had four... He's had four world title fights. And he's had 13 fights for the Orient Featherweight Championship. Twelve successful defences he's made of that title. it's quite sure that Winston is settling down now prepared to go 15 rounds to take this title if he can he's not gone off at the fast brisk pace of before he's taking it more easily more slowly and he's going to pace himself over the full championship distance Winston in this fifth round allowing Seki to do most of the work I think there's a very definite policy behind this they're going to try and force the Japanese into using up all his energy in these early rounds and then I think the Winston camp are going to try and come strongly with superior boxing towards the end this must surely be the strategy now moving well and he's avoiding a lot of the punches that Sek is throwing in this round 
And Winston is doing a lot more scoring this time. He's in first and he's covered against the counters. Beautiful left-handed, Seki walked right onto it. This is easily the best round Winston has had so far. Beautiful right underneath, and Winston is right on top in the fifth. And Saki is taking a lot of punishment in this round. He's taken almost everything that Winston has thrown at him. The little Japanese suddenly no longer looks so fast or so strong. The tide suddenly has turned right round and it's in Winston's favour. was a very good round for Winston. There's the ex-champion. Roland Dakin, formerly from Harrogate, now lives down south, having his first world title fight tonight. Trying time for Dakin. third of the scheduled 15 rounds are completed and Winston at the end of that uh, first period was very definitely on top and now the Japanese uh, chief second is being called in to wipe away surplus grease from Seki's face. I told you that earlier on he was heavily greased around the eyes. They're worried about those vulnerable eyes of Seki, although there's no sign of damage yet. Seki now looks dangerous only in short bursts. Winston has the speed and the sharpness of punch. And then again and again he beats Seki to the punch. Winston now looks like a man who's got the measure of his man. He looks confident suddenly. He leans in inside the swings of Seki. He doesn't get caught by them anymore. He seems to know where they're coming from and when they're coming and he's always moving the right way against them. He's covered up against the punches. And Winston looks very commanding and very good. come towards the end of the six. It's Howard Winston who has command of this fight. his last attempt at this world title was almost exactly a year ago in rather different surroundings he fought Vicente Saldivar then in the Mexico City bullring in front of 23,000 people and Saldivar stopped him in seven rounds and Howard Winston was there that night and saw Seki beaten
and this time it's Winston who's told to get the surplus grease off. Both sides, of course, worried about the state of their men's eyes. One seven. Again in the seventh round, Winston is scoring with the jabs and he's covered up against the counters. The left eye of Winston beginning to bleed slightly again in the seventh round. This has been done by the rubbing of heads in the clinches and not by a punch. This has not been quite as good a round as the sixth was for Winston, but he's still done plenty of work, and he's still covering up against the swings. But his eye looks a little worse. Well, that was a hectic few seconds at the end of that round for Winston, but he looked confident enough on the ropes. He swayed this way and that, and he avoided a lot of them. But his left eye is certainly not looking too good. Seconds out, round eight. And Saki is told to break when he's told to. Roland Dakin handling this fight quietly and efficiently. He is much stronger in this round. He's done a lot more work, and Winston hasn't done as much scoring. Now we've moved into the second half of this championship and there is still no telling which way this title will go. I think Winston is probably a little ahead, but there's not a lot in it. What an interesting fight this is between these two little men, both of whom couldn't find the strength or quite enough skill with which to beat Saldiva. But now the title is here for the taking, and one of them is going out of this ring tonight, the champion, the new champion. Both men who've set their hearts on winning the world title. Winston, I know, has lived with this dream of being world champion now for many years, and he may not get another chance after tonight.
There's no doubt who's the master inside, it's Winston. He's consistently been better inside all the way through this fight. He ties up Seki beautifully inside and frequently scores. And for a moment I thought Seki had trouble with his right eye. He has got trouble with his right eye. He brushed away the blood. And Seki now is cut on the right eye. And Roland Dakin's going to have a look at that right eye. He's having a good close look at it. It's right up underneath the eyebrow. And he's going to stop it, I think. I think Roland Dakin's going to stop it. He's asking the corner to look at it. And the Welsh have taken it for granted. And it's over and it is over. It's over in the ninth round. And Seki, moments after he was cut, has been stopped. And Winston is champion of the world at last and is the first Welsh world champion for 45 years and you won't stop the Welsh invading this ring now there's the disconsolate and gloomy Seki corner and there's going to be I think a lot of protest about the fact that this fight was stopped in the ninth round the cut is up underneath the eyebrow but it didn't seem to be bleeding a lot when it was stopped Congratulations, it's a great night for you and it's a great night for British boxing. It's an even greater night for Welsh boxing. Here's your World Championship trophy. Why oh. don't you hold it while we oh. talk to you? <laughs> <laughs> How did the fight go compared with the way you thought it might go? Well, I was rather surprised because I thought that... Uh, I know it must be very fit. Archie put me through my paces. Terrific down in Camarlan. And uh, there's a lot of Ali Baloo going around it. I was, wasn't boxing well and this and that. And Eddie said, what's the matter with him? But he said, not to worry about the papers, you know. George. And uh, I was boxing well. I felt good tonight, I felt real good. My old self, you know, like when I fought Spinks, I thought. I was holding back a bit too, because uh, he came the la last couple of rounds strong, like I thought I'd hold back and I'll be ready for him. I thought you were. You looked as though you were pacing yourself a little bit more than you did against Saldiva. Well, that's Fengali Thomas's guidance again. He said, no, you take it easy. So I had to take it easy. Did the eye bother you at all? No, I, I fought cut eyes before and Eddie always, he can look after him. You know, there's a little bit of controversy with the Japanese camp because they rather think that uh, it was stopped a bit prematurely. And in fact, a lot of people out there are saying that they thought you were rather robbed in a way of an even better win because you were getting well on top and you were going to win it. I was hitting him with a good left hook, but it was a bad cut. Uh, I talked to a few fellas after I went over and it was a nasty cash, you know. Mm -hmm. But I was getting on top, I was throwing good left hooks and I think if you come another round, I would have really worked on it, you know. You know you're the first world world champion since Jimmy Wilde. Oh, and I'm proud. Great. 45 years. 45 years is great. I don't care if it's 100 years as long as I've done it. You know the other odd thing about Welsh boxing is they're all W's, all the world champions in Wales. Freddie Welsh, Jimmy Wilde and Howard Winston. Yeah. The W boys. The W boys, yeah. What are you going to do now? You're going to have a bit of a celebration tonight? Well, it's up to the dock, Eddie. I think he'll have a celebration and I think I'll stick with him and see what happens. The two boys are staying up late. My two boys <coughs> and my mother, they're all staying up tonight, yeah. <laughs> And what about the future now? What are you going to do? Well, again, as I said, it's entitled to Eddie. I'm going to box on because I felt good tonight. I box on until he says, oh, look, Vince, your legs are gone, whatever it is, and I know myself when I'm gone, I'll get out. Mm -hmm. But until then, I'll keep boxing.